Hey guys, uh, today we want to talk a little bit about initiation speed. Now everybody's really big on being able to stop hit and intercept your opponent as they get there, but you can't really do that unless you're able to start your movement, for example a straight punch, unless you're able to start that straight punch immediately. You know there's some great athletes out there that can move from point A to point B very fast, but if you can't start point A quickly enough, you'll be smothered. It won't be effective enough for a real life situation. So the way you can train this with a partner, you take the focus mitts and you start bringing them at your partner's head and they have to hit them before you get there. Okay, so a partner drill you can use to train this particular skill. You're gonna have your partner get into the fighting position. So I've got Jared in his right stance. I'm gonna step outside of his punching range and show him the mitt. So he knows he's gonna be working on landing that lead straight shot to the focus mitt. But he's gonna do it as I advance the mitt in the exact same way that a person's head might come in. Okay, so he's gonna use his soft, diffused vision, not gonna be staring at anything, and as soon as he sees this come, come in, he's gonna go for it, but most importantly, his hand is gonna start here and go right from there to the focus mitt with no additional movements, no additional hes hesitation. Remember, it's all about quick start. So the mitt's here, come in, he hits. Again, I show him the mitt, put it in, and he hits. Now, I could make this drill more complex by bringing in a second focus mitt and now therefore enabling Jared to work on different angles with his strikes, the straight, the hook, the back fist. So I can take my mitts and I bring them out wide to give him the opportunity to throw the hook or to throw the back fist. Now this would be the same, obviously he's not going to be trying to hit a person's punch, he's hitting a person's head, so you have to kind of take yourself out of the realm of the drill to understand. This would be the same as if the attacker was coming from this direction, possibly shooting in at his hips, or coming in with a punch here for him to land that hook. And then over here would he be coming in from this angle for Jared to throw the back fist. So I use the focus mitts to simulate that. So I draw him out wide, give him a pause, and I'm gonna bring one in, he'll now react to the one mitt and hit it. So one of the two is gonna, co gonna come in. Not only is he now working on quick start time, and reaction speed, but he's working on fitting in with the appropriate angle and the appropriate strike. Again, one of the two mitts will come in quickly. Okay. Like that. Notice that I'm bringing the focus mitt in with a decent, decent amount of force behind it, because remember, a person's head is not soft, and the body probably has some weight behind it, so you want to make sure you're ready to drill through that all the way. Now, we can do either of those two drills and make it even more challenging by having Jared start in no position, just a regular standing relaxed position. This will make it so his hand's gonna now go right from where it is, down by his leg, directly to the focus mitt. So I take the mitt away, move it in. And remember, you've gotta be able to hit from this position because chances are you're not gonna be prepared, you're not gonna be ready right off the bat. I take the mitt outside of his punching range and I bring it in hard and he stops it. I can do the same thing with the double mitt drill. He starts with the hand down, I bring the mitts out wide, and he hits the one that comes first. Okay, so you want to make sure you're focusing on quick start time, staying relaxed, and directness. Get to it.